It's been three days since 17 train cars derailed and a bridge collapsed into the Yellowstone River. You can see that progress is being made on cleanup as train cars have already been removed from the rails. Tragic, concerned, you know, first off, want to make sure no one was injured or killed or anything. News spread across the country Saturday morning after a coal train was thrown into the Yellowstone River and it's hit residents of Tiny Reed Point hard. The nature and wildlife and the impact it's going to have on it because of, well, a train dumping into the river. Jerry Bixell owns the Waterhole Saloon and Steakhouse in Reed Point, just down the road from the derailment. We're proud to have such a, a excellent bunch of people around that are working on this problem. The video playing now is from Saturday shortly after the derailment. Now compare that to this video from Monday. Ten cars remain in the water, two of which are fully submerged. That's the focus of a joint statement Monday from Montana Rail Link and government agencies, saying, quote, the condition of these cars, including the two that are submerged, is a key unknown in the plan to remove them from the water. A dive team has arrived on scene to gather more information about the situation below the surface. The agencies have scheduled a 7 p.m. Zoom news conference Monday night to update the latest progress. Meanwhile, the waterhole has been a place many of the people working to clean up the derailment stop for lunch and dinner. It was one of our best Saturday nights so far, or Saturday day and night so far. And they tend to come in about 5 to 20 apiece. <laughs> a small town joint feeding crews working to fix a big time incident. This is a huge impact to not just the community, but the whole region and state, and I'd just like everybody to just, you know, have patience, we'll get through this. In Stillwater County, Haley Monaco, MTN News.